Ah, sorry, I didn't, uh, didn't see you guys there. I was just having some morning coffee. It is Sunday, 11 a.m., and I woke up at 10, uh, a little after. So, <clears throat> I need me some dirty bean water. Anyways, howdy, pop culture partners. My name is Mikkel, and welcome to another reaction video. This is, of course, the running reaction of um, Moritaka Ishida's amazing um, graphic novel run of um, Spider-Man Web of Shadows. If you still don't know, uh, Moritaka is a very good friend of mine and he is a phenomenal artist. He really can draw the best of things complex or simple. It all looks really good and one of his biggest latest projects was to recreate the story of um, the beloved game Spider-Man Web of Shadows but in a uh, graphic novel version and more like a manga. The first issue he made, the first chapter, it was in color but it was a lot of work for him. So the ne the, the last um, three he's made in, uh, he's continued in black and white so it emulates a lot of manga style. And it's not a one-to-one -one recreation of the story, he does change a few details, um, story moments, dialogue, he even adds some moments he did, he he thinks could have been in the story and remove some aspects that he thinks were a little uh, who that shouldn't really have been in the story. I've been loving it so far. Um, I love how each chapter has kind of been different. The first one was very witty and uh, had a, a good prologue effect to it, which is exactly what it should have been. Chapter two, I think, was a uh, quite action based. If I remember, there was a lot of like scenery that I love. I could literally frame some of the imagery he put um, in that in that chapter on my wall. I would absolutely love to. I think the last frame of chapter two was phenomenal as well. And then chapter three was very story focused, a lot of dialogue, a lot of character interaction, but I also really like that. So it doesn't really feel too fast or slow. Everything has a pace to it. It feels like an actual story, which is amazing. And chapter four, I've been very excited for. He has He uploaded this a week or two ago, maybe in the middle. So I am a little late to react to this, but I have my space. Uh, I have a good uh, moment here. First thing in the morning before I do other stuff, have to get to this. And, um, well, I guess we'll get right to it then, if I can just switch here. As you can see, um, well, I'll just put it here. This is Spider-Man Web of Shadows, Chapter 4, Fall. Uh, I already love this, um, cover art. His cover art is also really cool. He's, he puts a few colors in the cover art. Um, maybe like one color that's distinct and the rest is black and white, which looks really neat. This one is very unique and the, the name Fall has me very curious. Um, also, I like that I can just... I don't know if this was there before, but now um, when I'm reading the pages, I can just do this, swipe along and then press this and then continue uh, the thread down like that. That is very handy. I feel like that wasn't there before. If it was there before and I didn't use it, that's dumb on my part. Please read this before you continue. Content warning. The following contains graphic depictions of physical injury, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress, and some nudity. If you are suffering from anxiety or PTSD, read with caution or avoid this issue of Wobo Shadows to avoid any traumatic triggers. He's also very considerate of uh, a lot of people. He's not afraid to go deep with uh, themes and visuals, which I really like, which is also a reason I've been super excited for this uh, chapter. So I guess without further ado, we shall get going. Oh, first off, um, another sip. <sighs> That's the good stuff. And uh, I also wanted to say, if you want to support him in any way, of course, every video I will leave his uh, Twitter and his YouTube. Uh, he doesn't really do uh, much on YouTube, uh, except um, comment on and um, comments on videos and uh, watches live streams. He's there for all of my live streams. He's, he really is uh, one of my best friends. He's always been there for me, and I'm trying to support him in any way I can. Uh, Twitter is where you can mainly support him. He posts a lot of uh, stuff there, art and just personal-wise. He he's quite often on Twitter. Reminds me of me and my and my early ages of Twitter. If I, uh, if I'm being honest, um, another way is actually a bit of a plug in here, but uh, we do have a Discord server, and uh, Moritaka posts a lot there. He interacts with us. Uh, we interact about a lot of things, and he mainly mainly shares his art and memes. We all share 
what we like, and it's a really wholesome place. If you want to see more of Moritaka's uh, work, meet him, talk with him, and all of us, we'd love to meet more of you. Um, yeah, we feel like uh, more could join the Discord, so that's definitely something. I'll mention it again at the end of the video as well as some other stuff, but um, it was just to um, show off more of where you can find Moritaka. So, without further ado, I guess we shall start with 8 a.m. and the city. I re oh, yes, I remember in one of the last chapters, there was a huge cityscape shot. And I completely, I actually remember asking him, how did you make that? Because it looked so good. And I think he, if I can look closely, this looks kind of drawn, but I think he used multiple techniques and he did like copy some cityscapes, which is completely acceptable. But still, it looks phenomenal here. Every cityscape that's drawn, I'm so, like, um, fascinated by because it's just, like, how do you do it? How do you draw such details and stuff? It must take such, um, a lot of, um, effort. And I'm gonna comment on some stylish things that I really like, such as, it's the first, like, frame, and there are, um, like, the effect of the, the chopper blades are really nice. <laughs> and yeah, so... Spidey sleeping there, like the detail of his damaged suit. Spider-Man, get up with your hands in the air. <sighs> just, five, just five more minutes, MJ. <laughs> B uh, blam, last chance. NYPD Hero Regulations Department. Spider-Man, you have failed to sign the Superhero Registration Act and reveal your identity to the public and the United States government for 16 months since the decree's inception. Start it now and calmly or we will take authorized lethal action. Okay, so you're gonna put some of this, the Civil War story in this? That's super interesting. I also love the contrast of the helicopter that's incredibly, like, dark here, and Spidey, like, it's unnaturally dark, especially for what the time of day should be, I guess, 8 a.m., and Spidey's is decently, um, well, uh, like, um, lit, you could say. I don't want to say colored or saturated, because it's not, but you can see that there's light on the subject. Uh, wonderful. Just my luck. Okay, okay, geez, I'm putting them up. So you can have your pathetic little power fantasy. <laughs> uh, he's like, yawn, he cracks his neck and then... Sh shot fired now. I uh, know, it's a shout now. There, I give you the false sense of security you were looking for. Happy? Very. Now enter the chopper and come to the registration unit with us. Of course, the classic hands in the air, thwip. Wow, you're really gullible. As if I'd ever do that. Son of- Oh, Spidey's giving the finger. That's not something you see every day. Taylor, now. Okay, I'm just gonna increase the brightness a little. Several minutes later. Oh. Okay, I think they've lost me. I'm still so ig- Ex uh, oh god, he's slipping off the wall. Oh, and he... Damn, okay, that is not good. He just he just snapped his back. Spider-Man 2 style. And hit his head. Oh, at least... Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, I remember some... Again, I forget the word for that, but, like, whenever there's a... a um, yeah, like, letters on screen that... Um, amplify a sound. I don't remember the word for that. But sometimes he puts those in color, and I'm surprised that he put a, a quite a violent moment here in red. And I like the little 3D effect there for distortion and then just blue web, because I guess he's unconscious. Oh, damn. No, okay, he's hurt really bad. Holy crap. Yeah, you weren't kidding when you said some dark imagery. Oh, but of course there's the... Wait, are his fingers broken? Damn, I think they are. Damn, I'm just trying to look because, again, the amount of detail he can put in one frame is phenomenal. Again, one thing I was like, okay, you're going to look at the injuries and stuff and you're like, damn, that's really believable and violent. What I look at are the tons of little, like, damages to his suit, all the wrinkles and stuff. I could never, ever draw that complex of stuff. It's phenomenal what he can do. Ooh, and I like that effect as the symbiote takes over. It's becoming all red. And he's screaming. Ah, Maybe because his, yeah, his bones are being repaired, I guess. So that would double the pain. Make it stop. Make it stop. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at all that writing. I'm pretty sure he kind of inspired himself 
uh, off of the Tokyo Ghoul manga. I, I'm pretty sure that's his favorite manga, and, uh, like, just the imagery there, and the, like, scribbles and writing, it, it for some reason, reminds me of that. Uh, that's last one of the treats. So then we just, whoop, and there we go. Very handy. Oh, wow, kill me, please. I really hope it's repairing him. I, oh. <coughs> MJ, think of MJ. Wow, that is that is dark. His reason to keep living, because he wants to die right now. That's... I'm surprised no one's come to help the poor lad. That's a nice dynamic. Um, like, behind him, it's all black. Almost as if the pain m it made everything so blurry, so as he's walking and thinking of MJ fighting it, he can start seeing his surroundings again. One hour later. Trying to figure out what Venom is up to went to absolute shit. I broke my friend's heart. Again. And he's limping. I like that little limp. <laughs> and I just... That... I don't want to think about what just happened. Maybe I won't screw up something as simple as picking up MJ from the hospital later. No progress, nothing. I feel like, like my mind's gonna break. Keep it together, tiger. At least until the day ends. The symbiote shouldn't have been able to fix my body like that. What's going on? It's in my blood. You should only be in my nervous system, which means no, 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 this can't be happening, not yet. It's too early. It's too early. Yeah, so it's already, like, binding, uh, wait, bonding fully with him. I'm sure that scares him, because you don't want to go through that again. Oh, ah, that's a nice detail. He's born. Again, it's little colors, especially red, that he really likes. Um, the little hearts, and, uh, his, uh, finger being hot to warm up his, well, his coffee, I guess. Ah, hot cocoa. Well, let's read. Takes a nice... You know what? I'll do the same as him. Sip. Gulp. Ah. Hot cocoa, my beloved. You truly light a fire in my heart. That's your, that's your fifth one today. Don't judge me. Pete? Window knock. Ah, oh, window knock. Pete? Pete, dude, it's been months. I missed you. How are you doing? And, of course, he hugs him and destroys his back. Good to see you too. God, my back. Wait, again, that's the... <laughs> I go through these so fast, I feel like uh, there's more on the tweet. It's happened. But that fast? Shit. Symbi symbiosis Diagnostics. I like that little diorama. He did. didn't really have to do that, but he did. Mental Nervous and bio scan complete. Subject, Peter Benjamin Parker. So, what are the results? Ah, uh, nice, the symbiote is, blo is like uh, blocking his junk. Read, Pete, I'm so sorry. It's too late. The bonding process was completed eight hours ago. <laughs> oh God, is he gonna do like an Aaron moment where he's so in shock he's just gonna just gonna laugh. I oh, know. It was just a yeah. At first, it's a chuckle, and then wait. There's a thumping sound. Oh, he's breaking down. And I, I like that. If this was um like on screen, like you can see just at the bottom. Again, it's the little details. He's panting. There's this. There's this thumping. Probably his heart. No, excuse me, a little hiccup, his heartbeat, or um, just this noise in his head, and he's just thinking, no, 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 so there's probably so much going on, and just at the bottom, you can see that as the seconds go by, Johnny's just trying to, trying to get his attention, he's like, Pete, Pete, so this would, this, in this moment, you could probably hear his heartbeat very loud, there'd probably be this, like, loud, um, background noise in his head, and him saying, no, 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 and stuff, so this would probably be a big moment. Focus on me, okay, bud? You're still you. You're still my brother. Aw, that's love, man. Ben insisted I eat before leaving. Good call, I was starving. 
guess I forgot that I'm technically eating for two now. I always forget that they consider me a part of the family, even after not showing my face for months. Johnny embraced me like a younger brother. Still one that's baffling me though. Ah, still one thing that's baffling me though. If you're fully bound, why are you still, well, you? Right now it seems more interested in stopping Venom. Maybe, maybe he thinks I can only do that if I'm in the driver's seat. So basically, you're on a timer, right? More than likely. Then we're helping you do this. Reed, Sue, Ben. Sorry, Peter, but we can't. I'm afraid we have an urgent duty off-world. Also, like the beard, like he doesn't really draw beards a lot, and uh, that's an awesome beard win for Reed. Fine, then I'll stay and help Pete while you three help out the Nova Corps. Johnny, no, I'm staying. You have no responsibilities beyond this planet now. I'm literally more useful on Earth right now, Reed. The Clintar... Am I reading that correctly? The Clintar are weak to fire. I can just... Fry Venom. The Clintar adapt. What if a part of Venom spreads to you? What if it spreads further? It's far too risky. He's right. It's not worth the risk. I have to go this alone, Johnny. Sorry. Man, I, you gotta love the commitment he has to helping Peter Eli. I don't think I've ever seen Johnny be such a good friend to Peter Parker. Like, they've had some banter. They've been those, like, friends who annoy each other every now and again. But this seems like they have an unbreakable bond. I like that. The red represents the heat he, that's going through him, but also his anger because he is... For lack of a better word, hot-headed. <laughs> yep, so Pete, uh, probably knew that they'd argue about this. Ah, and, and I like that, the, the, the red is slowly, like, going away as he's calming down. <laughs> but it's still there, it doesn't just disappear. Really, it's okay. You've all already done so much for me. It's my fault that Venom exists, so it's my responsibility to stop him. This is my fight. A little nod of acceptance. Now you can do this, pal. Good luck. Thank you. All of you. Johnny, we have to get going. The lab is yours for now, son. Good luck, Peter. You as well. And keep Johnny out of trouble. <laughs> Shut up, Ben. I'm done talking to your boyfriend. <laughs> Jesus, come on. You just said they're brothers. That's, that's sus, Ben. <laughs> also, it's a simple shot, but I like um, all of uh, the Fantastic Four. And, and as you can see... I think this one shot shows a lot of what I say about his art. It's it can be simple, but he it's simple but complex at the same time. His art style represents a lot of uh, it, it gives off a lot of um, anime and manga vibes. Um, but you see, each and, and every individual character looks a bit different. Uh, Johnny has those sharp eyes, the hair and the the cheeks. Sue has that ponytail and that strand same kind of eyes either that was intentional because um, they're brother and sister or kind of uh, lucky Reed has the the long dark hair the beard and he has a few more wrinkles in it and uh, a little I wouldn't say sleepy eyes but you can see he's been through some stuff and well Ben is just look at him I don't even know how you drew Ben like I like the the big effect of that extra small layer for eyebrows he even drew the nose correctly. The, the, that's, a, that's a nice touch. It's a simple frame, but I really uh, wanted to talk about it. Oh wait, sorry. Well, I was in a, in a full mode. So yeah, we're back here and... Yeah, that's it. I hope I can do this. Wow, three three simple things, but... Ah, that's their teleport. I was... I was kind of wondering I hope that's their teleporter like the flash and then they're gone and then he's all alone well not all alone he has the symbiote but you get what Moritaka is trying to emulate in this frame I decided to kill some time patrolling before picking up uh, Mary Jane in the evening I needed to take my mind off things you're lucky that you're cute <laughs> shakes head really I insist yay my balloon oh no money of course that Parker pride. I'm just being a good guy. Even for just a short while. 
Thank you. Bodega. Aw. Giving to the homeless. That's nice. I was, I was, you see, that's what I really love. Like, I was wondering, like, you can see his face near the fire, but I was wondering what that was. I couldn't figure it out at first. I thought he was handing out his hand, like, normally from the shadows, but it is upside down, and then you can see his face. That is an awesome, awesome detail, and I don't know if that's just the lighting from the fire on his arm or if it's damaging the symbiote a little bit so his arm is showing, but that lighting on his uh, face is super nice. And I love that each frame here has different um, um, expressions on his eyes. I really love the expressions he can do. Like in the last few chapters, he could really draw the lenses of the like the symbiote suit really looks like its actual like living eyes. But his his classic suit from afar it does look like just normal cartoon lenses. But when he does close ups on really important scenes, you can actually see that it is a lens. He puts that amount of detail and even behind when it's supposed to show the man behind the mask's reaction. He shades the lens and you can just barely make out an eye behind that. That is one of my favorite details of all time in Moritaka's art and this um, series. It's awesome. I hey, finally made it back to MJ. So much is happening so fast. Again, look at that simple shot. Looks in the window and he sees two Spider-Man. Well, one Spider-Man and one alien, if you're gonna be Specific. I'm so grateful for small moments like these. Just this. Just her. She makes all the pain worth it. That is deep. Imagine all of your existence is for one person. That's... Hmm. I don't remember he actually had a... Oh, I just noticed as well. I, I, I kind of want to go... Back. Yeah, so that was blue. And this is red and... I don't want to say brown, but like the car seats have a bit of a color. Like, and MJ's hair specifically, I really like that. It's a very specific uh, artistic choice. Uh, I remember, again, when I mentioned the Discord and stuff, he posts um, early drafts of some important pages or a page that he likes in the Discord, so you can see some of that stuff if you decide to join. Oh, a nice bath together. I decided against telling MJ that the suit bonded to me. I didn't want her to lose hope and... I wanted us to have some semblance of peace before everything inevitably goes to shit again. A small calm. That's nice. That's really... I can't, I can't help but smile when I see cute couple stuff. Especially when it's drawn. It's really something... It's something that melts my heart and... Of course he wins. He wins at it every single time. Also like that he's not afraid to like add some more mature stuff. Like sometimes we barely see like people keep saying, "Oh, if it's too mature, then it's not the character and stuff." And I like that Batman is getting some good um like mature content recently. I remember some of the first mature mature content he got, which was actually rated M. If you remember, if any of you guys remember or have played it, was the Batman Telltale series, both uh seasons of that game. Every season is a game, so technically both games were rated M because there was a lot of um, visual violence, visual blood and gore, and some themes that were quite, um, yeah, quite, uh, quite dark. Uh, it was it was overall quite the dark experience, and now we're getting the Batman in less than a week. Uh, I'm not sure when this will come out if. Uh, if once I finish editing it, if it'll come out before or after the movie, I guess we'll see. But the point is, Batman is getting a bit more maturity, and my point is, I like that there's some maturity here, or at least for an older audience. Nowadays, you see a lot of superhero content that's just for kids. Like before, like 10, 15 years ago, they used to make phenomenal superhero stuff that was enjoyable for kids but teens and adults as well it was crafted so that it can be a simple thing that kids can watch for a bit and enjoy but as you go grow older you can see the artistic choices behind it the extra themes the deep meanings the the, uh, the jokes for older for older folks it's it was really nice back then nowadays you see so much stuff that's just made for kids it's clearly visually audibly like everything is just around for kids enjoyment and you don't have that same amount of care anymore so when I see like Spidey giving the middle finger seeing gore seeing a lot of bad stuff happening to him 
and even a little bit of nudity here, it's 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 refreshing if I do say so myself. Spider-Man is a kind of a lighthearted hero, but it doesn't mean his life is all lighthearted. People have specifically made arguments against um, uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man, MCU Spider-Man, because they say he's too jokey, he's too positive, and stuff. I'm I, I'm I don't agree with those people. I love MCU Spider-Man to death. He's my favorite on-screen Spider-Man. That's besides the the point. People say that. His life, like people argue his life is all happy and go lucky, he jokes around and stuff, and people say that yes, he is like that, but it's to hide the pain, it's to calm situations down, it's to help him stay focused because every day he lives with guilt and he does go through stuff no one his age should. So seeing just small details like this in a story like this, my point is really refreshing and nice to see. I probably could have talked about that. Uh, in in a um, uh, lesser amount of time, but let's keep rolling with it. After everything that's happened lately, I'm just so glad she's okay. I don't know what 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 I would have done if Venom had. I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, you know, like all the couple stuff, having a nice bath together and cooking. That's the dream, isn't it, lads? <laughs> and lasses, if. If you look, if you, <laughs> you get what I mean. You get what I mean. A little embarrassed now. Apologies. Seriously, a cat. Yep, Peter Parker. You expect me to believe that you didn't, you didn't. Uh... Hold on, I can't really read that. You expect to be me to believe that you did the most campy, cliche superhero thing, saving a cat stuck in a tree. Yes. Sure thing, Tiger. Sure. Speaking of cats, though. I had a run-in with Felicia Hardy last night. Felicia, it's been months. How is she holding up after, well, us? Honestly, I don't think she's taking it that well, but we talked and I think she's come to terms with it. Are you sure? She said, you'd better make MJ the happiest woman alive. Got it. Got it. It's almost, it almost sounded like a threat. <laughs> that. That was definitely a threat. But if I were you, I wouldn't worry, Tiger. Hmm? Because you already have. I love you, Peter Parker, and I always will. I love you too. So much. A while later. You know, we should probably save up some more, get some stronger materials for your costume. I noticed how torn up it's gotten. Peter. Oh god, I'm afraid now. <laughs> I knew it. It's it, Peter said it and I'm pretty sure you said that on purpose like the calm before the storm. Everything is super positive and stuff. So something's bound to happen. I'm kind of scared for the next frame. Let me just uh Yeah, the, the, he likes doing that when there's a bit of a shock moment in the frame, he'll add another tiny one with the um with the specific reaction from the character. Okay, um, I switched it. I don't know if I'm ready to see it. Oh. It. I fell. Oh god, I. I didn't want to remember that. Oh god, is he having PTSD? That's. Blood, blood. All I see is blood. He's coughing. It's okay, I've got you. Try to focus on my voice, okay, P? That's right, it's me. Where am I? Everything's so dark. I'm so tired. MJ, you're in my arms. You're with me right now. Everything's gonna be alright. To be continued. <sighs> Man, this was a... This is a mix of the last few chapters. No, it, it was also story-based. I think the beginning of the series was very uh, action. Well, kind of based on action, but these the last two chapters at least have been quite story based, and uh, and I really enjoy that. Um, man, I gotta appreciate the detail of every frame. MJ's hair is uh, like red, and it has that specific. I wanted to talk about it earlier, but I didn't know if it was gonna sound a bit dumb. But I think it's. I don't know if this is purposeful or if maybe it's just my imagination. But MJ calls Peter Tiger a lot. It's like her trademark. 
and her hair has this like rhythm. It's red and black and red and black. Maybe it's just a bit for a cool shading aspect, but I feel like I feel like it kind of looks like a tiger pattern, almost a little bit. So I don't know if that was a happy accident or if that was purposeful, but I like it. So man, yeah, no, um, my tiger, you weren't kidding. This is probably um, I wouldn't say the darkest, but definitely the most mature. Um, chapter you've made, uh, Peter going through PTSD, I guess that can definitely get to someone if they're easily affected, even when reading that, and even if it happens to someone else. I've never really seen such a visual and uh, non-hidden PTSD reaction out of Peter Parker in any media. That's, that's nice, that's a nice, I, I wouldn't say representation, but like, it's something that would happen to him, I feel like, especially someone that young with what he goes through and stuff. This really, so that's really nice to see, but what's even nicer to see is how patient MJ is with him. Like, she's sad to see him go through that, but she stays very calm. She tells him everything's gonna be okay. She's with him and stuff. Like, anyone who goes through anything similar to that, they deserve someone who's gonna give them that amount of, like, respect, attention, and love when they go through those moments. Because you deserve nothing, unless you don't deserve something forced, you don't deserve a... A negative or impatient reaction you be there for that person you you deserve nothing less uh, so uh, other thoughts on this I guess I'll oh wow brought me back to the beginning yes I love how at the beginning it starts with just a few colors and then it ends with a lot of um, color especially with the uh, MJ I feel like it was like building in color and uh, yeah those those first few um, pictures especially whoops especially with how Peter got hurt and stuff it's again every chapter is visual candy it's so it's always so nice to see and then the story is just so so engaging I I'm super happy to react to these and uh, if I could say uh, a little more again I, I keep saying but I, I notice small details that I really love I keep like bashing on how bashing no though that's a, that's negative um i keep um like gushing over how many little details he can draw that i never could like i really am not good especially with um human figures and clothing and the simplest of stuff i'm not really good at drawing that i guess i'm kind of good at drawing um landscapes you could say I really like drawing landscapes just uh, whenever I can. Whenever I draw a big scale thing, I always um, it's always uh, based on um, something else, on a, on, a, on a normal picture or someone else's art that I just redraw. If I really feel like, okay, I kind of want to draw this, because I never really draw. Whenever I draw, I have to dedicate to that drawing. It could take me a few days, because I don't have the right materials. I really just um, have a lot of pencils. I try to shade stuff together, outline with a pen, and. And then, of course, after I edit uh, on my phone a little, just for some extra zest, because I swear to God, so many of my pictures look way better when I edit them a little bit. Point is, Moitaka is a talented son of a gun. Really, you should support him every way you can. Like I said, uh, Twitter and YouTube are in the description. You can join the channel Discord if you, you're curious about... Uh, you know, meeting him, talking with him, checking more of his stuff, and uh, maybe meeting us and more people in the Discord. We'd love to meet you if you have anything to share, memes, um, art. If you even need to talk about some personal stuff, we have ranting and venting um, chats, and uh, we, ha we listen and support each other whenever we have some personal problems. Uh, yeah, and as for, as for me, yeah, the main thing I share is the Discord... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Okay, that took a little longer than expected. Um, yeah, the main thing I share is the Discord server because I really wish a lot of uh, a lot more people would uh, join. And most of uh, like, I wouldn't say news, but like we talk a lot over there. So if there's anything new and stuff, you'll know through there. I do also post my Instagram and Twitter. Twitter I use a little bit. I share and share others virtual photography, which is photo mode. Uh, pictures from games. I really really love I have taken a bit of a break simply because I've been playing a lot of other games uh, That don't really have photo mode, but I do need to continue playing Ghost of Tsushima soon And uh, you know, I'm not done with that photo mode um, But yeah, I posted a lot um, of photo mode 
recently, so right now I don't have much. I'm just saying that's what I post on Twitter. As for Instagram, it's really for my personal stuff. I rarely post there, but it's just if you're curious. And um, I guess that's it in terms of my social media. To finish off the video, I really, really hope you enjoyed uh, this reaction video, and I really hope you enjoyed this chapter. Liking the video and sharing it will definitely support Moritaka more than me. And if you want to support him, uh, again, in the best ways possible, again, please follow him uh, throughout the links I've provided in the description. And uh, please share this on Twitter, mainly. Uh, yeah, I guess if you want to support him the best, uh, retweet, like, like and retweet his uh, work on Twitter. This is where he mainly posts it. Uh, well, mainly. It is the only place he posts it, actually. Um, so yeah, that would be a great help to him. And uh, yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Uh, if you're curious about me a little bit, like I said, Discord, and you can check the channel um, for any um, to check out videos that might pique your interest because I upload a lot of different stuff. So if anything, uh, if there's anything you'd like, please consider maybe subscribing um, to the, for the coming future for any new videos or live streams that uh, I might make at the, at the time of this recording. I do want to live stream later this afternoon because I haven't in a in a little while. And uh, I don't really get to do it much, but I try to do it as much as I can. I love live streaming games, and uh, it'd be nice to have you around. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful morning, day, evening, whichever. <clears throat> I completely forgot to change the screen to this one. I keep, I keep remembering in the beginning, and then I'm just so invested at looking at this. Well, this outro wasn't too, too long, so hopefully that doesn't really bother you. But uh, thank you so much again for watching. Have a wonderful morning, day, evening, whichever. I'll see you next next time. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>